Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Uncle here. If you're new to my channel, I create content around cooking, cleaning, and organization. I also do a day in the life vlogs and hauls. Today's video is a day in my life. I haven't done one since I moved, and so I thought today would be a lovely day to bring you guys along my day and just to share with you how I will be spending it and what I will be up to. So yeah, so today is a day in the life vlog. I have just started my day now. I've just gotten ready. It's almost 10 a.m. Today is a Monday, so I woke up really feeling not in the mood but i had to do this vlog and also do some work so that you know i secure the bag yeah so i just started my day and i am just about to start working i have one small article to do today i'm not doing so much of writing i'm doing so much of content creation and a few errands maybe later in the afternoon so i want to work on an article this morning and then i also need to shoot the furnished house tour like how i've organized the house since the move so they start and just to share a few more details about you know the house and how i've styled it and how i intend on styling it so that's what i'm going to be shooting after i finish writing the article so yeah then later on in the afternoon, I need to go to town. I need to collect some parcels that were sent last week. I didn't get time to collect them. I had bought, I think, a bag, some dresses, some shoes. I need to go and collect them in town. And then I need to shop for the house. I have things. I have shopping, but I don't have fresh foods. And I have been lacking so much on my vegetable intake, my fruit intake. I just need to stock up the fridge and make sure I have enough of that. We might do some cooking the first in this house i actually haven't cooked much in this house because i have been so busy so busy with writing and i just need to get back to eating healthy and just you know prepping food by myself so we will definitely do some dinner later so yeah so i just wanted to do this intro here and then you know get down and do get down to work and tackle that article and then i will catch you guys up once i am probably shooting the house tour and maybe yeah as the day goes by you i'll just bring you guys along so i hope you enjoy this vlog guys and if you do please make sure you give it a thumbs up please 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 like the video like the video leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the house the vlog the food whatever i share here so please please leave me your comments subscribe if you haven't because we are trying to get 10k guys we are trying to get 10k please guys just subscribe and my analytics tell me 52 percent of all my viewers have not subscribed why is it so why just subscribe it's free you don't need to pay anything it's just your way of supporting my channel and growing my community and anytime i upload a video you're able to see my videos in your feed so please make sure you subscribe and please turn on the post notification bell so that every time i have a new video you are among my first subscribers to get a notification so guys let me get down to work i'm feeling a little off today but i'm going to try and do something constructive so that yeah you know monday i can't start the week wrong i just need to have you know work going and things moving so yeah i'll chat you guys later I know I left you off at the intro. I decided to shoot the furnished house tour first because I knew if I waited to shoot later, I'd have disorganized everything and I had organized the house last night to, you know, make sure when I am shooting the house tour, it's in order. But now it's already 11.15 and I am so hungry. I want to make some breakfast, but at least one thing is off. I have shot that, so I'm happy I've done one thing. I haven't even worked on the article i just wasn't in the space to start writing so it looks like i will write later on in the afternoon but for now i need to fix breakfast because i am starving the last meal i had was yesterday at around 
27th so it's been over 16 hours of me having not eaten anything i've just taken my kiricho gold ginger and tea ginger and lemon ginger and lime tea so i'm actually more hungry than i was when i woke up so i need to go and make some breakfast so let's go to the kitchen and prep something to eat so i'm looking for something to eat and guys i i know i have food i can see i have food <laughs> but i don't know what i want to eat i'm thinking maybe i'll make some tea because i have a lot of milk and maybe cut up some fruit there and maybe have some eggs because uh, I have them up here. Can have some eggs and some tea and some fruit. And I have this. These are peanuts, but they are raw peanuts. So maybe I can. They are raw peanuts. So maybe I can roast them in the oven and you guys can see how I do that. But. I'm just brainstorming because I am so tired of eating eggs that it's the only thing I have to eat for breakfast and I'm trying not to eat bread and the like. So yeah, so let's make some breakfast. Are you looking at a blue sky now or are you looking at a dark clothes? Have you seen the white sneakers now or are you looking at a plague? Are we happy to this joy? So for my eggs, I've just beat them uh, in just added salt and water in the bowl when I was beating them and then just fried them uh, with butter. For my tea, I have tea leaves, rosemary, black pepper and ginger. So I'm just going to leave that to brew for a while and then it will be ready. And then for the peanuts, I've just washed them and drained the water, then salted them generously and I'm going to... Uh, place them in the oven for 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Just one year ago, everything was growing inside. Backed up months ago, it is getting. Calling, we 
So here is my breakfast. I have my fruits and I have an orange, some grapes and some tree tomato. I haven't had uh, fruits in a while. Like the entire weekend I didn't eat fruits so I definitely need to up my game. Then my two eggs, a tomato and my spiced tea. So that's my breakfast. Did you know I sleep on the floor every night on my own to try? so so hungry so we have my tea and my eggs then i'm going to have a youtube video playing because i feel like i deserve a break after filming an entire video so there's that oh and i need to check on the peanuts i'll show you how they look like after but they are still roasting there so i'll have my breakfast and then i'll chat with you guys later <laughs> Did you go our love? It felt so right. Now I can get you off my mind. It's spinning like a circle and I keep walking outside. Well, maybe if I touched you right, and maybe if I put up a fight, or baby, did I hold you too tight? since i spoke to you so i finished having my breakfast and i'm now full i'm feeling a little energetic so i want to sit down and work on the article that i needed to work on today it's a short article so it shouldn't take me longer than two hours to finish it's currently one something or is it 12 already it's currently 1 30 so i want to be done by the time it's 3 3 30 so that i can rush to town i need to get a new line i need to get a new safaricom line for my business because now i realize i'm having to share my number online or with people who are interested in working with me so i need a specific line for that 
so that I can also like separate, you know, my personal contacts and my work contacts. And because my phone has two slots for SIMs, I want to get another one. And then, of course, I can add that one to my rate card, to my media kit, to my marketing posts, whatever, everything. So, yeah, and actually, come to think of it, the reason I haven't even posted that I am working with brands or like I haven't even made a market day poster it's purely because i don't have a line and that shouldn't be the case so today the main goal of going into town is to get a line and then collect my parcels pass by the supermarket and buy a few basic things that i need for the house because we are almost coming to the end of the month today is the 23rd of may but i wanted to shop next month i just did a haul recently but i missed a few things and i also just want to get fresh stuff like vegetables because my goodness i haven't even had vegetables in a very long time i've just been eating kachumbari tomatoes and that's all the vegetables i've been having so i need to buy like spinach and mix with greens then come and meal prep them i need to stock up on hohos tomatoes carrots all those kind of vegetables and a few fruits and then yeah of course come back and then make a dinner i haven't cooked in a long time my god moving and working and settling down has been a lot but now i feel like i am getting somewhere so i can't wait to go to the supermarket maybe pass by the shops the reason i'm going to town late is because i want to catch the mamas that sell vegetables in the evening while guys are coming from work so yeah so that i can get fresh greens and everything else that I need to buy then yeah come back organize stuff in the fridge and it needs cleaning so we might do that together later prep dinner and call it a day but before I do all that I need to work on the article I have to make sure I write an article every day otherwise I miss deadline so yeah let me get busy work on the article and I'll chat you guys once I am ready to leave the house I just finished writing my article it took so long it's currently 4 20 but i have really tried i thought it was just about 1200 words only to find that i needed to write 1800 words so it's taken me a long time but i'm finally done so i just want to quickly change and uh, wear some jeans because i have a really short skirt and then rush to town get the safaricom line then collect my parcels before they close and then pass by the supermarket shop for the house and then come back so i know for sure i'll come back here at night but i will definitely talk to you guys and show you what i get from town yeah today has been a really busy day but at least i've done so much i've filmed the video i've worked on articles and i have done so much to be honest i i didn't think my monday would have been this productive but i pushed myself so yeah, so let me quickly change and get out of the house, go collect my things and shop and I will talk to you guys once I am back. laid out here so yeah i managed to get the line i was lucky enough to find them still open because i got there like at 4 55 and they closed by 5 and i wanted to have my line registered at the safaricom shop because there was a time i had another line but they didn't register it well so it was closed and 
I, it wasn't my fault, so I, I don't understand. So I had to go and get it done from the shop. So I passed by the parcel offices and picked my clothes. I had bought clothes, shoes, and a bag online, so I needed to collect those. Then I, of course, went to the supermarket and got a few items. A few, no, no, they were not a few. <laughs> I got um, a good amount of things for the house and I want to quickly show you guys what I got from Naivas and what I got from the shops outside Naivas because I needed to like stock up on vegetables and a few fruits to last me at least two weeks so let me flip the camera and show you what I bought so I got some wipes these are the Hanan water wipes and they are flushable I like to use this in the bathroom I always have some and I have a pack going but it's almost running out so I had to stock up it's alcohol free ph balance so you can use this after the toilet and you won't have infections then i added a new shower gel to my collection this is my what seventh or eighth shower gel i have a problem with shower gels <laughs> so yeah so i love to smell nice while i shower and it's surprising because guys i don't even have perfumes but i love shower gels so i had to buy one and this one smells really nice it's the invigorating ritual body wash and it's 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 nice i think the avocado and what calendula the avocado oil and calendula extract makes it smell so nice then i got these baskets you guys know i've had such baskets before so i found two gray ones today and when i find them i usually buy them they're usually 140 something so quite affordable but pretty cute i want to use this to organize some junk i have in the bedroom like my hair products etc so had to buy those then i got this uh kitchen sponges cloth sponge cloth i got one last time and i really loved how it worked on my countertops my new beautiful countertops so i had to buy more so this is a pack of three it has two yellow ones and an orange one i think i'll use the orange one in the living room to dust like the coffee table and the rest but yeah i had to buy those then i got some sausages these are chicken smoked sausages i also got some strawberries some colored bell peppers some yogurt milk these are some raisins another addition to my tea stash guys you know i love tea so much right you know i love tea so of course i have to buy the ones that i don't have and i want to try this one then milk yogurts these are macadamia nuts snacks and some sausages yeah so this is what i got from naivas let me show you the meats i bought so for the meat, I got chicken breast, beef on bone, chicken liver, and chicken mince. I have beef mince in the fridge. I have fish, and I have chicken wings, and I have chicken thighs, I think. So I have enough meat to last me about two weeks. So I have enough meat to last me about two weeks. So remember I was talking about how I'm trying to eat healthier and include more vegetables in my meals. So I had to buy some fresh foods. I got some oranges and apples, some lemons, some green peppers, avocado. This is spinach and this is mixed uh, terere, skumawiki and pumpkin leaves some french beans and some carrots and a popo. this is my fresh food stash that i bought just outside the supermarket because i needed to stock up on fresh foods i didn't have any vegetable in this house so that so these are the parcels i was going to collect this is a bag these are shoes and these are dresses i usually buy clothes online and have them sent closer to me because i rarely go to town which saves me time and money of course to go and buy all those things at one so yeah i got my packages and that's my entire stash guys i forgot to show you how the peanuts came out from the oven but they are pretty nice it was pretty simple just roasted them for 10 minutes at 180 degrees celsius and they come out cooked and crunchy you see so you can leave them in more if you want them burnt or if you want them slightly cooked but i love mine this kind of roasted so guys i know i had mentioned that i was going to prep dinner but i'm not going to do that i am so tired i don't think i want to like cook throw down i'll definitely eat so maybe i'll make a salad and have it with some yogurt or maybe have an egg and something because in the morning i didn't eat eggs no i did <laughs> i ate eggs but now since i have 
the ingredients I need. I can quickly throw down something for like 10 minutes. So I'll fix a snack eventually, but I'm not going to bring you guys along. It's almost 8 p.m. Sis has been through it all today. She's done so much. And I think the vlog has quite a number of, you know, clips. So it's not going to be just plain gin. So yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed the vlog and I hope that you have loved spending the day with me today. This is a typical day in my life when I have to run errands and still work and still create content. So it's kind of, you know, a lot going on, but this is simply how my life is set up. It's not easy juggling content creation and writing and still having to do everything else that my life needs me to do. So I'm just here to motivate you and to, you know, show you that it's possible. You just have to keep working hard you just have to organize yourself plan yourself have goals have have goals have dreams and work towards each and every one of those goals so yeah so i'm just going to take some time and organize the kitchen now that i have displayed everything that i got and then i will take a shower and rest and call it a night thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you next time bye